Hello, everybody. My name's Ardendris, and welcome back to Black Book. Last time, we were exploring the underwater area, and we went from the spot where we, uh, I guess, sunk, where our boat was... Really, Mouse? Come on. You can work with me? Anyways, uh, yeah, our boat had, like, sunk... And, uh, we were stuck at the bottom of the ocean, and we, uh, traveled along with our mermaid friend here. And, uh, we dealt with a giant fish. We, uh, helped find our mermaid friend, her memory, and her names. Yevdokia. So, uh, yeah, she didn't actually remember her name or, like, her past life. And we found a picture with, of her, with her name on it. With her father, who was actually the manager of the salt plant that we were helping out before. But eventually we beat a giant fish, and then she brought us here. To this underwater camp where we can mess with our shorts. We can have some conversations, we can play cards. Uh, but uh, let's deal with our shorts first. That's about what happened last time. Hunger, strife, more or less everyone. Ooh, thanks for the herb. You're done. You're done. Come on. Task failed. Get the sins, but no money. Okay. Animals. Who's good at animals? No one? I. Oh, yeah. We did get a new chort last time. Korovan. Long, long ago, he used to sing at the of the wonders of creation in an angelic choir. Definitely getting rid of you. Definitely sending you off, because you make it so that bless doesn't work for us. Fire, weather, fire, hunger, strife, hunger. Um, weather, new guy, you can go. Hunger, let's send Matvi. Weather, we only have one. Two fires, strife, hunger. Um... Don't actually have anyone, so everyone can just sort of go randomly. Like, I just don't want you here. <laughs> there we go. We'll deal with some of those demons tomorrow, but that's fine. The black book is marked there, but I don't think we care about anything in there right now. Or do we? What would I want to get rid of? Keeping that. Keeping the moon, brothers. Do I get rid of one of the parapolos, or do I keep both? Kane's kind of nice to have. Killa's still nice to keep around, but it's might soon be uh, reaching the end of its usefulness. That's still nice to have. Curse is nice. I might go down to one Nava. Very hail's nice for the extra bless and the uh, thing, the uh, shield. Um, hmm, I think we're good there. Yeah, I don't think there are any changes I want to make, so that should be good. And I think that's everything we had to do here. I think we might just be good to head off. We already talked with the mermaid and with Proshka. Yevdokia. It didn't actually change her name in the bottom right, so I'm going to have to try and remember Yevdokia is her name. But I think we're good here. Let's set off. Where are we going? Underwater thicket. The mermaid says that we're approaching Vakul's palace. I hope she's not leading me into another trap. Another underwater thicket, just like those at the su surface. Let's go. An eel emerges from the seaweed followed by a burbot. After several moments, you are surrounded by a swarm of eels and burbots that move through the seaweed as a huge herd. You soon notice the shepherds. Several drowners with paddles direct the group to a destination known only to them. We're gonna talk, because we usually try to talk before battle, but what is this encyclopedia entry? Gambling evil spirits. A leishi, having lost in cards to a neighboring leishi, may pay him by driving animals, squirrels or hares, to his domain. For men, it was a harbinger of war. The leishi also tended to mushrooms and berries. The vojanoi is also known to gamble, but he pays his debts with schools of fish and other water wildlife. Okay. 
They lost a game of cards. The drowners stopped the fish to talk to you. It turns out that this school of fish was part of a wager that some Vodinoi lost to Vakul in a game of cards. They are from a river near the Church ah. of the Trinity. Now the dead are steering this herd through the domain of the local evil spirits. After this conversation, you understand evil spirits a little bit better. Okay, so I guess Vakul didn't lose the game of cards. He specifically won the game of cards and won these fish then. Okay. Cave Cemetery. The road to the Vodianois chambers passes through an underwater cemetery. Not the most welcoming of spirits, these Vodianois. Ooh. This has actual animations. Um. Why is... It's a giant cave with some of them on the ceiling and some of them below us? Is that what's going on here? That's... Okay, then. Oh, we actually get to walk around here. Um, thousands so of graves. graves. All for the Vodinois entertainment? I hope I won't get my own galbets here. One more, so is that it? Graves. No, that's it. All for the Vodinois entertainment? Oh, they go on for miles. Mermaid friends. Little bets. Um. Uyazd Cemetery. An old grave. Can't make out the name. What happens to the drowners when their galbets rots entirely? Go to the cemetery first and then we'll talk to our friend. Maybe. Oh, hold on. Go back. That's... That keeps going. Oh, this is a big zone. Yep, this. We already saw that animation. <laughs> a little confusing why it would start me back there again. <laughs> But we can continue on to the even bigger one that way. Sea of Dekia. I heard this is where Vakul collects the graves of his victims. As soon as anyone drowns, a Gobetz grows here. Interesting. There's a lot going on there. Um, name. We could perhaps find your name here. I didn't even think of looking here. I want to go home now, to the surface. The Vodinoi may agree to let you go. I'll have to think this through. I'll go take a look at the grave. I feel a kind of kinship with that Golbets over there. No, I won't approach it. Okay, there's a specific Golbet that catches your eye in the that cave. cave over there. It belongs to the Vodinoi. Dead men are forbidden to go there. Good thing we're not dead. I'll show it to you, though. Ooh. You're not dead yet. Yep. Um, we'll but go back. I forgot something. So, mermaid gold bets. Entrance to the cave. We can look at it, but is that going to send us there? I see an entrance to a cave. I need to ask the Rusalka what it is. Is that another pike layer or something? Okay, so these are the gold bets we already looked at. Anything over here or no? Nope, it's just an entrance to this, the mermaid gold bets. You find the grave the Rusalka pointed out and wipe away the cold silt from the wooden tablet. Indeed, it is the grave of Pahon's daughter. Near the grave, you find Yevdakia's old cross. Is every seal we break going to have something to do with saving someone? <laughs> Mermaid's cross, an iron cross covered with rust and slime. Gain plus four ward on battle start. Interesting. That starts us with four shield every turn? Um, that might even be better. Okay, that would probably be better than the hearth clay. Whether or not it would be better than the river shell, which we got last time, is up for debate. Four on the first turn, three, two, one. Would that be better than just seven on the first turn? Um, I mean, we're usually winning on the first or second turn anyways. That would only be more useful for, uh, like, boss battles. Um, we'll go to the Uyezd Cemetery after we go give you this cross, I think. I heard this is where Vakul collects the graves um, of his victims. Um, nope, That's I can't easy. actually give you the cross. Never mind. I guess we'll hold on to that for now, then. 
What's over here in this massive area? Where even are we? Salt cave over there. Okay. What are we gonna find here? Like, there's such a wide open space. David, Bicam, Nakal, Nemursa, Becca, Jopinger. I. That's not. That's Cyrillic. I don't speak Cyrillic. <laughs> David Bicam. Hmm. So many names here. Um. Hold on. Does this game have like a Patreon or something? Because. <laughs> Honestly, it wouldn't surprise me if this was, like, some sort of, like, patron zone. Like, these are all, like, people that, yeah, contributed to, like, making the game. Because <laughs> there's a lot here. And they're not all just... Yeah, it's, like, different styles of names, like, across all of them. And there's a lot. I mean, yeah. The name like Hatchrinks next to a Joe Chan. Those are not really the same type of name, are they? <laughs> um. I'm going to look into this one. Um. Let me step away for a moment. I just, I'm just very curious about this. Where are we? Cave Cemetery Underwater in Black Book. I'm going to see what this is real quick. One second. Okay, it is surprisingly difficult to, uh... I mean, maybe not so surprisingly. This it's this isn't a very well-known game from what I was looking at. This is very indie. But, um, anyways... Yeah, I can't really find the information I'm looking for on it. But I think that those might be, like, Patreon or something. Because there's a whole lot of them and there's actually nothing to do there. I think, like, backers of some sort might be what that was. Just, like, a lot of names. But I think we're good to go. Leave the area, yeah. I've been looking at names and looking at information on names for a little while now, so I think we're good. Let's visit the cave, then. An underwater cave west of the cemetery. What secrets does the Vaginoi hide there? Got narrow manhole. This cave feels old. As if this crawl space leads to the underworld. And mermaid. This cave is closed to the dead. Rakul doesn't allow it. Will you go there with me? <clears throat> I mean she's technically I dead. Out. I'm not sure about me. Um, can you tell me more about the cave? So no one's ever been in this cave? They say a drowner entered it, but Vakul punished him later. He ate him, I think. Oh, lovely. Um, order. Why do you think he forbids entrance? Maybe he keeps treasure here. Maybe he puts some monster inside to keep an eye on it. And, oh, uh, well, I, I hope it's not a monster, because we might be fighting it on our own. <laughs> Peter Shross, thank you. Ooh, like the tone change. Ooh, pretty. Fish. Oh, I didn't control most of the walking there. Then it was like, yeah, you can walk again at this random point. <laughs> oh, this is really cool. <laughs> all the walls used to be decorated here. But now it's all been washed off. Some kind of a bear or a moose. Can't make out. Okay, I this I find this really cool. <laughs> Some pieces of copper are lying in the chest. Are they badges or something? Like cave paintings are cool. <laughs> Rays of light lead the way into the depths of the cave. 
Um, one second to look around. Can't really go anywhere else, and I already looked at the only other things here, so I guess we continue on. So many Blaze etchings. Lead cool. the way into the Let's go on. Inside the cave. A narrow crawl space leads to the dark depths of this cave. The winding paths lead you to a huge altar. Who and how performed services here? You stop in hesitation. Um... Do we throw some coins? Sure. Oh, that's causing something to happen. A drawing that appeared on the wall looks more recent than the others. It depicts a lizard-like pike. You think you've seen an image like that, but wasn't it a bear? You return from your thoughts to the present moment when you notice a sudden blue flash. A silver mask lies on the altar. Uh, we're going to take it. You brush the dust off the ancient mask and exit the cave. Hmm. This kind of mask was used to cover the faces of the dead in the olden days. Bonus plus five gold at the end of battle. Uh, that's kind of cool. Uh, I don't think we're going to be using it, though. Kind of an interesting idea. A little bit of extra cash here and there is not a bad idea, but we have almost 500 that we're not even really using at this point. I could just go in and, like, choose what cards I really like and just buy a whole bunch of those. But, um, palace gates. I think we're good to move on, then. In the old fairy tales, the gates to a Vodianois palace are made of crystal. The reality is much different. Just like sea stone of some sort. The Rusalka finally leads you to Broken the Wood <laughs> Palace gates. They're guarded by two watchmen who, as it seems, are unable to find common ground in an argument. Whoa, a curses guard. It's your hooded curse enough. <laughs> oh, the drowners are something. You can't even straight not to mention tear some nets is mad because of you are these the two same two from last time that we played a game of cards against to stop them from messing with fishermen is it these two again you again my little friends i'm leading the new over to Bakun, as he told me to so yes this is the exact same two again Nope, we have business here. Maybe we can just swim over them? <laughs> we can't. There's sorcery here. There's only one entrance to the palace. Attack, persuade, play cards. Let's try persuasion, but we can... Let's try persuading. Listen, dead man. Vakuri called me here himself. And if you won't let me pass, he'll be even angrier. I was about to say lying, but no, that's, uh... Um, I was about to say deception, but no, I think that's technically true. Like, the the Vakul sent uh, Yevdikia to find us, so... It's not wrong. Even angrier! <laughs> Precisely. So move, why don't you? Wait, wait. We have an order. Only let the Norris in, so... If you're a knower, you should be able to answer this riddle of ours. Okay, okay, riddles again. Sure, let's agree. Very well. I'm good at these sort of things. <laughs> well, the option attack, like, no, nah, I don't like riddles. On guard. <laughs> it's burrs and burrs, but one for out. It runs and runs. Pours and pours, but won't pour out. It runs and runs. Uh, yeah. but won't run out. <laughs> it pours and pours, but won't pour out. Runs and runs, but won't run out. Um, my immediate thought is a river. Blood can definitely run out. Milk definitely runs out. <laughs> or at least it, it's conversation a river. I'm guessing river. It's a river. <laughs> I've heard more difficult. Well, that's correct. 
All right, go through. Thank you, friend. But oh, <laughs> there is a riddle. Yes, <laughs> but how'd you guess it? Wasn't that difficult? You leave the angry drowners and go on your way. Ah, <laughs> oh, those two. <laughs> There's the second time they show up. <laughs> Hoping they show up at least one more time. They're lovable idiots. <laughs> Quite near the Vodianois chambers. By the throne room now. The interior of the Vodianois palace doesn't look like old fairy tales. There are old planks instead of the crystal walls, and the place is overgrown with river grasses. You open okay. your book in anticipation. <laughs> You never know what kind of pests might be hiding in the old palace. Your vigilance pays off. A couple of chorts step out from the darkness. Is this gonna be... Well, I mean, the Vojinoi is not really our hero, but like sort of the same idea of don't meet your heroes, or like expectation and reality are not the same, is kind of what this seems like. <laughs> Hello, my shadow friends. I'm coming at you with seven to all of you. Ah, if I had picked up... I'm coming at you with nine to all of you, actually. If I had picked up my card to do damage to everyone, everyone here died. <laughs> okay. And we did actually get the thing that gives us an extra key on every turn, on every draw. But what do we do here? Kill, um... If I kill a you, you die. Probably. Oh yeah, 15 without even adding on our bless bonus. So Moon, Moon Brothers you. Koldun Fiend you. You. I think everything... I think two of the three die. Oh, I... Oh, that works. <laughs> I didn't need Proshka's skill there. I misplayed and misjudged stuff, but it didn't matter. <laughs> There's Parapolo. Die. Um. Another one of the Ognavitsas? Sure. That way we don't have to spend the money on it. Okay, we can go to the chambers now, but let's... Do the optional stuff first. Let's head to the gatehouse. There's an old gatehouse near the throne room. And we'll get a Bailichka for this. Ooh, cow level. <laughs> Interesting achievement. Oh. You find a huge herd of cows. Among the animals walks an exhausted peasant. He notices you and rushes over to you. Okay, I understand why the achievement is, cowed, cow, is called cow level now. Why are there a bunch of cows underwater? <laughs> They're not even sea cows. Christ almighty, mortal men. She's alive and not wanted. <laughs> I think this man has seen some stuff. Be not to crush the witch. Oh, I will drag you even further. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this man just grab us in a bear hug. <laughs> I've been waiting long. It's not a good thing to see a Rosalka. It can send bad weather and drown a man. One time, one was seen washing on the shore, saying, Oh, I've been waiting so long. Then she disappeared, but a physician from our village went to have a dip there. He didn't believe in God or the devil, that one. So he dived down and never came up. The Rosalka drowned him for his disbelief. Okay. Rude. Fine, I'll help. Don't be so quick to write me off as a spirit. I can help you if you need me to. You can. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Thank you. But it won't be that easy to get you out. I think we should order a prayer. Then Rakul will let you go himself. Take it. Here's the money <laughs> I've made here. Okay, please save me. Here's all my life savings. Just get me out of here. I am from 
across our village. Find my wife there. They've been searching for me. They'll order a prayer. Are you sure of it? All right. I'll find your wife if I pass through there. Don't lose hope. I'm curious if that's going to be like a full optional task or if that's just the going to be like a little side. The catches a tear trickling from his eye and bows deeply before you. Anyways, I'm just curious if that's going to be like a side task, like optional task or if that's like a full side quest we're going to do. But uh, the Vodunoy's Chambers, I guess that's where we're ending off on this little section. I will meet Vakul here. He will hopefully be able to break the seal at once. I'm assuming it's not going to be that easy, but we'll see. We're about to meet a very powerful, very dangerous spirit who rules over these waters. A couple of guards waiting here for us. <laughs> Treasure! That's a lot of gold! The treasures of the Vodinoi consist of all sorts of things. Silver and gold coins, icon frames studded with precious stones. There aren't any icons in the icon frames. Oh, I feel like taking the treasure would be a bad idea, but I kind of want to. <laughs> There's a lot of gold here. While looking at this corpse, Vakul sold it. You'd never know that this is how he makes new drowners. I probably could have guessed it. So that's how drowners <laughs> come to be. I mean, it's literally just a walking dead man. They need something to preserve them. Mermaid, uh, Yevdukia. Unless I announce you to the Vodinoi, he won't show himself. Ready? Um, not yet. Um, can you tell me more about the Vodinoi? What can you tell me about him? He's old, has his quirks. He's winning today, so he should be in a good mood. Hopefully. Listen, if he offers you gold, don't take it. Ask for fish scales instead. It's all different here in this world. It's not like what people are used to. Unless okay. I you to the Vodinoi, he won't show Wait a moment. So fish scales, got it. Can we talk to these drowners real quick? Are these the same two again? Mm. Hello. <laughs> Copying him. <laughs> oh my god, that's silly. <laughs> that was so silly and I loved it. Got what you were after, witch. What else do you want? I mean, we haven't spoken with the Vakul yet. The Vakul, so yeah. Be here soon? <laughs> that's none of your business. Literally our entire business. Um, the drowners. What kind of a duel are you anyway? Who knows? Who knows? Perhaps we're future wardenoids. Um, maybe, maybe. Well. Good luck with that. <laughs> I mean, we could still steal treasure. No, 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 no. We're not going to steal from the super powerful water spirits. That would be a bad idea. I, announce you to the I think we're ready. Yes, Let's go. What are they going to be like? Year after year, it's getting worse and worse. Encyclopedia entry. What do you know? According to Russian legend, legend of Vodyanoi can bend water to his will. He is the master of the body of water in which he dwells, and it has supreme rule over it. This spirit can control water in a variety of ways. It can create waves, overflow, ba overflow banks, or create strong currents. The Vodyanoi also has command over the inhabitants of his water domain. Fishes, mermaids, and drowned men. It is curious to note that musicians were able to stop such elemental rampages. In the Bolina Sadko, a ghostly player sinks to the bottom of a river, but entertains the Valdianoi, who then allows the musician to return to shore. This exact episode was performed by storytellers of the Ria Binan family 
Whenever there was a storm on Lake Ladogo, it was believed to bring calm to the lake. Interesting. I was expecting a humanoid shape, not just a whole bunch of fish with the glowing eyes. <laughs> but hey, that's what we get. So you threw some coins on the old altar. You're not a simple girl. Nope. You can solve riddles, but that's only half of it. It means you speak the language of spirits. Indeed, I do. <laughs> the Vojinois laughter reminds you of the sound of a palm clapping the water surface. Why didn't you use that sound? That was just a regular laugh. Laugh. <laughs> Greetings, Vodinoi Grandfather. My name is Vasilisa. I know your name. I know of everything in my kingdom. Do you think I couldn't get you this very moment unless I really wanted to? Okay, so don't expect him not to know something. He doesn't like it. I wanted to see what kind of a human you are. And what do you think so far? I help in others, but not in the name of Rosalka. I don't approve of that. You have no business taking my servants away. Well, what brings you here? I wanted to ask you. Saltworks, Rosalka, Cave, Seal. Let's start in order. Why did you have Yevdekia attack the Saltworks? What's been going on at the Salt Factory? Did you send the Rusalka and take the brine? I have this acquaintance of mine. Dimitov is his name. Do you know what he did when he built his factory? He threw a glow into the water. Okay. Then he took out the other glow, cut out three fingers of it, and threw it also into the water. Do you know why? No. Dimitov threw a glove into the water. Why is this? Um, throughout, sacrifice, talisman. Oh, I got no idea on this one. <laughs> um. Uh. Da -da -da. I have no idea on this one. Um, not really anything there. We don't have a page on Rusalka's, which is what I would also look at. Um, nothing there. Huh. Interesting. This is the first time where I have... I can't even, like, narrow this one down. I actually have no idea what's going on with this one. Fine, this one's hint-worthy. Everyone who works by the water makes offerings. Everyone who works by the water makes offerings to Vodjanoi. I'm assuming that's what that actually is supposed to say. Someone drinks vodka in his honor. Others offer someone's life. So, yeah, it was a sacrifice. I promised you a living human sacrifice. Good job. I can see it's no accident that you can breathe under. Did you guess the number of lives? Seven. Glove, followed by another one with three fingers cut off. Yeah, seven. Five finger on one glove, and two on the other. Ooh, black mage. You promised you seven offerings. Okay. Correct which you certainly do have knowledge. Seven drowned. How many are we at now? Later, I'll put them to work in a circle to remember the days of all. Oh, the seven drowned that we were doing that circle dance that we stopped. Not for you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, we stopped that one too, didn't we? Hmm. What now? I'd be content with some fisher throwing vodka into the lake. I won't stand for this. Um. I mean, yeah, we keep messing with all of your plans. Like, yeah, I can see why you might not like us very much. also promised me a sacrifice, but he wasn't very eager with making good on it. But I'll take what is due. In the form of his daughter? You 
myself dragged you, Zakia, to the bottom. Yeah. Yes, Amazel. Before his cell works, he had a water wheel. That's when we made a contract. For this violation, he paid with his daughter. Wasn't eager to pay the chief wheel for his factory. He's paying for it now. Okay. <laughs> so you're to blame for all these deaths. Mind who you're talking to, bitch. I took only what's mine to take. Um, I mean, fair, we should probably shouldn't be, um, antagonizing him so badly. We are in his domain, and he could drown us in an instant, I'm fairly certain. <laughs> For your words, I could turn you into a drowner, but today I will be kind. How does he get the brine back now? Want to know what to do next? I'll tell you what you will have to do it properly afterwards. Don't you want to learn anything else? Yes, we do. Um, other questions before we get to your task, or we could just attack him. I we could do that. I wanted to ask you. Um, was that the Rasalka we did? Um, what's up with the? So it works in the task. That was the first thing we did. So the Rusalka. I know the name of the Rusalka. Let her go. Now. Do I look like a bunny to you? Does she look a bride? <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know everything. She can't be saved by a name. She's already dead. You can't bring anyone back. I mean, not yet. That's literally our whole goal, though. No. There are ways. You are talking about your book. She doesn't have anything like that. Good thing we're here to help, then. She will do her time with me. When it is her time to return to the surface, I will let her go to heaven or hell. But that is not for me to decide. And certainly not for you. I wanted to ask you. Um, the cave? What's this cave with writings on the walls? I've been living here for a long time. Everything used to be different here. The time when you were worshipped as a god instead of an evil spirit? There used to be a grave. I kept what's left. All tradition shouldn't disappear. I simply want to let them. Yeah, you can't let go of the past, can you? you? The water seal, can you break it? I need to break the seal on the book. I know this book. I don't know how to break the seal. I'll break it if you do my bidding. I wanted to ask you. Salt works in the task. What is this mission you want us to do? How do I get the brine back? Want to know what to do I believe this is exactly the same as last time. We'll have to do it properly afterwards. Don't you want to learn anything else? I mean, we could go straight into combat with them. That's probably not a great idea, but it might break the seal. We'll see what the task is. That's what we're doing. We're dealing with demons. Diplomatically, rather than just pure combat. But we are building up a very strong combat deck. For when we need to do battle. What well, What's the expression? Speak softly but carry a big stick? Or something like that? Yeah, I think that's what we're going for. Tell me what you want. Yes, now there's a good witch. Okay, don't speak to us like a dog, please. <laughs> I'm strapped my phone. That's not far from Gilbert. Okay. You will find some bandits there. Lately, they do have forgotten to make offering to me. Make them restore this good tradition. Uh, so, you want me to go rough up some bandits and make them pay homage to you? Sure, I'm good with that. Alright, as you wish. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm good with this. I like you. 
turns out that I'm great to see you. Okay. Choose a gift for you. A chest of golden coins or a handful of fish scales. Here's that offer. I'll take the scales, please. I'll take the scales. You can't find any such things on the surface. As you wish, Mitch. Now return to the surface. Well, have a nice trip. Thank you, Vakul, for being so hospitable. And we'll uh, continue our deal later on, I suppose. Well, meet right after you fulfill my task. Perhaps at the old water mill at the home. Okay, well then, we'll I see you there. You water seal and the brine that depends on the home. Surely I'll be able to find a couple of gloves. So you want more human souls then, I suppose. Are we going to stop you or just let you do your thing? On the bank of the Rusalka backwater. You spit out muddy water and inspect your things. Everything is where it should be. With a shudder, you clutch for the black book. It's also here. Well, that would have been a bit of a plot twist if they stole the book from us and we had to get it back without magic. <laughs> Only the fish scales have disappeared. To your surprise, you notice a heavy sack with gold Ooh. coins in its place. 50 gold? Rodionoi's wedding. People were known to be dragged to the bottom if they removed their cross. The Lord's own cross protects from all misfortunes. A young lad was swimming as he often did when the string of his cross tore and sank right to the bottom. Beneath the water, he saw a wedding of Vodya noise. Tables were filled with food, but there was no bread. They sat him down and offered him refreshment. He noticed many other young men were who were servants. The lad cried, Let me go for Christ's sake. My mother is waiting for me at home. The murky spirit told him, as if we needed you down here. We have more than enough guests. Go and take some precious stones as a parting gift. He took the stones and woke up on the shore. The stones melted in his hands, as they were actually pieces of ice. Okay. So, thank you for the money. <laughs> Glad we didn't choose to take money. We'd have gotten just, like, water or something. It would have been fish scales worth nothing. <laughs> Return to the Isba. Hello, Igor. It's uh, been a little bit since we've been home. Grandpa, I'm back. Vasilisa, I did some divinations the other day. Learned that Vakul is holding you captive. Eh, not really. We're kind of being forced to help him, kind of, but we're not really captive. And then I went to the Church of the Trinity, did what needed to be done. That's why the water demon let you go. The prayers okay. may not be the reason. He had a task for me. You tell old Yegor about the events of recent days. I mean, yeah, we're pretty good at talking our way out of situations. We don't need much help in that so sense. So that Miller was Pahom. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Avadinoi doesn't forget his subjects. He doesn't forget the past period, it seems like. Be on the lookout with this demon. He may try to pull one over on you. Yeah, that's fine. If he tries it, we'll blast him. I don't <laughs> or we'll try at least. Just as you taught me. And that's why you helped the Rusalka. Fair. That is not the same as a uh, changeling girl. We need to be careful in our line of work, or you'll wind up beneath the earth. Anyway, we need to think about something else. Ask the bandits about Fakul. They might give you some advice. Are we gonna trust the bandits, though? <laughs> All right, Grandpa. Like, when you say, ask the bandits, do you mean have a casual, peaceful conversation with them, or beat them up and ask them questions as they're on the ground? What are you looking for here? What kind of bandits make offerings to him? Pirates? I think river bandits. Not a rare sort nowadays. They may be escaped convicts or former factory workers. 
You okay. are a powerful knower. They can't hurt you. Curse them if they try anything. Don't let them catch their breath. Okay, and the Rusalka. I met the Rusalka. Do you think we can help her? The Rusalka? She is dead already. How can you help a dead person? Literally, our entire goal for opening all the seals is to help a dead person. Well, I'm sorry, Vasilisa. I spoke without thinking. I don't think she has friend that can help her. But I found her name. It must mean something. You're saying she's Pahom's daughter? Let him think about it. Can I at okay. least free her from the Vodinoi? That spirit holds on to his drowners until their early time is up. Okay. You might let them go sooner for the right price. Sometimes, of course, they can be saved with prayer. Okay, so it seems like we're probably making some sort of deal if we want to save her. The noise who are weaker than ours have a lower price. What price will Makul ask? <laughs> no one knows. You can yeah. try it if you want to, but the seal takes priority. Don't you forget that. Fine, I won't. End the Vodjanoi. Do you think he will keep his promise about the salt and the seal? I dealt with him once, also at a meal. Did everything he had to, but also took all that he could. <laughs> a powerful short. I mean, he seems like it if he uh, beat all the other Vodinoi in the region to become super powerful in this area. He would have to have some strength behind him. Now it's your turn. You'll beat him. Never doubt that. Oh, I don't. I believe we're good to go. Let's do this. Time to go. All right. That pot house of yours isn't far from Salatnova, to the west of Kusheva. Mikrasova isn't far. Drowner asked me to help him. I'll get Pahom in the meantime. God help you. Thank you for the help, Igor. We'll be on our way soon. But um, for right now, probably a pretty good place to end things off. Oh, we have the fair for when we get going next time. Then we're going to be traveling this way. We'll go to... I believe that's the uh, optional order of prayer parts. And we'll go speak with some demons. Uh, we'll go speak with some bandits, rather. We'll deal with our own demons. We'll go through all that. We have visitors to speak through. A whole lot of stuff. But, um, anyways, I want to thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed as much as I have, and I hope to see you next time. So, without further ado, further take care, everybody. I almost forgot my outro. Whoops, bye. <laughs>